What's up, duder? Hey. How you holding up? Surviving. Had the weirdest dream last night. Really? Oh yeah, cause um, last night we saw the cat god thing. I saw some space bugs. No, not space bugs. Like, not bugs. And not in space. Like things beyond bugs. And in some place beyond space. I fell asleep on the couch watching Judge Kathy. <laughs> oh, awesome. She's the best. She really is. She takes no crap. Boy, you ain't lying. So, what's up? You wanna hang out? Yeah, man. Let's roll. Alright. This should be the last Greg hang- Oh my god. Huh. So, this is the thing. This is the thing. He actually built a proper one with legs and all. <laughs> it's kind of our son. We brought him into this world. Well, you helped. Kind of smells weird. Anyway. So, what are we doing tonight? I don't know. We have B's car. Oh, really? We should go to Donut Wolf. You have B's car? Isn't she going to Jackie's tonight? Oh, yeah. I haven't been since I got back. I need some of those slammer cakes. They have pancakes now, too, for some reason. Oh. Hey, Captain. Donut Wolf. Oh. Oh, Angus was here the whole time. Okay. Um, right before starting the hangout with Greg... Remember I mentioned before that, um, this was the day when Angus seemed a little bit weird. We went to the Blockbuster, and Mei was like, Hey, Angus! Holy crap, my voice just cracked. <clears throat> I'm a little bit sick right now, excuse me. But yeah, Mei was like, Hey, Angus, what's up? And then Angus was like, Oh, nothing, don't mind me. So it seems like we might be getting a continuation of that here. They got pancakes now! I think he might feel a little bit excluded. Fine. Ride the chariot! To Donut Hell! Oh! Legends. May and Greg's sense of humors and how they interact are definitely really unique. So I can see how anybody being with them would feel like a third wheel. Even when May in this situation is the third wheel. And that's all the people I've kissed. That's two people. Kinda. One and a half. Whatever. Like your average is any better. Angus, you've been really quiet. Sorry. You okay? We're gonna get pancakes! Hey, Angus? Angus? Hey! Gonna get them flapjacks. Angus? Uh, if someone is being quiet, I don't think you should repeatedly annoy them about whatever the hell- Oh god, I don't even know what you're doing right now. Paging Dr. Jackson. Dr. Flap Jackson. Please report to my belly. Okay, yes, pancakes. Dude. Dude. God. Damn. It. Whoa. Did we get a flat tire? I'm pulling over. No! Donut wall! May. We'll get there. We'll push the car. Okay. You all stay in here. Because it's a flat. You don't drive on a flat. Why? Yeah, why? You just don't! It messes up the wheel or something! How do you know so much about cars? We can fix it! With what? We gonna get some sticks? That's silly. No, I mean... 
People fix tires. It's a thing people do. It's a thing people do. When they have a goddamn tire. Guys. Why are you being such a dick? Yeah, actually, this is the most frustrated I've ever seen Angus. He's usually such a polite boy. And it doesn't help that both May and Greg are kind of like... I don't know, maybe they don't read the room very well. They're not that kind of people. Why am I the one that has to be the responsible one? Guys! What, May? Don't yell at May! Ah, I'm gonna wander. See? Right now, Angus is so frustrated, but these two people are still like, Whoa! Like, calm down a little bit, guys. Fine. Fine. Okay, ah! Oh. Guess I'll wander a little bit. What? Oh, what the? Oh! <gasps> Oh my god! I'm angry. I'm frustrated that you're angry. I love you. What's that? Oh my god, what is happening here? Oh no. Jeez. Look at those woods. This is like the perfect place to dump a body. That's tough to find. Good body dumping woods. And I think even right now, May doesn't really have a clue what's going on. Could go see if there are any bodies in there. Eh. Can we actually go? No. I feel like we shouldn't interrupt this, cause... Yeah... Okay, what can fix a flat tire? Uh... Sticks? Rocks? Leaves? Wood? Dirt? Maybe I can whittle a wrench out of a log. Wonder if I could, like, train an owl to do owl tricks. No! Focus, May! Oh. So, what are we doing? Well, I'm trying to figure out what we're gonna do. We could call someone? Oh, do we suddenly carry phones? Because there's magically signal now? In this piece of shit town? Jeez. Okay, well... Yeah, he is... Don't push him over the edge. Hey, dinguses! What? what? There's a spare tire back here. Oh! Oh, nice! That's one good thing. Anyone know how to, like, do the tire? Yeah. Can I help? No. Dude. May, you're not a bad person. But I do not trust you with any part of this process. Jeez, man. Jeez. See, it's like... Every time Angus tries to say something, Greg always sides with May. And look at this. They're doing their whole, like, too bad you didn't blah 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 thing again. Which totally is excluding Angus here. Oh my god. And look, I know, it's not like it's all completely May and Greg's fault. They're best friends. But at the same time, I feel like if they're not by themselves, then they should be a little bit aware of who else is around them. Because, yeah, this will happen if you don't. Too bad you didn't get partially eaten by a shark. Too bad you didn't get serial killed. Too bad you didn't start doing drugs. And then die from drugs. We tried weed a while back. Too bad you didn't OD and die from it. Okay, are you two done? Finally here! Yup. Oh yeah! The wolf of the donut. Oh! Oh, that's why they're doing that noise. Oh! Oh, I just clued in on that. <laughs> yup.
Welcome to the Donut Wolf, home of the Slammer Cake, now featuring pan cakes with special Howlin' Mad maple syrup. How would you like to ride the chariot today? Hello, sir. Mighty fine donuts you got there. Thank you, ma'am. We'll take a half dozen go-nuts. Dude. We should get chariot wheels. We got chariot wheels last time. I want slammer cakes! Actually, we are out of slammer cakes. What?! How can you be out of slammer cakes?! That's like half the reason to come here! Dude, just pick something. Okay, we'll take half a dozen chariot wheels. Would you like them with eternity sauce? No. Alright, alright, I'll take... Five, six doom nuts. Are those new? Limited edition, ma'am. Well, they're about to be even more limited. And no eternity sauce. Last time I had that, I stayed up all night digging a hole in our backyard. Uh, what were you doing in that hole? Okay, I thought you were gonna like poop in that hole or something. Were you just hyperactive? <laughs> they found me asleep in the morning. At the bottom of a hole. Yes, ma'am. Are we eating here? I guess, whatever. Um... Yeah, let's eat here. Fine, I'm gonna go find a seat. Greg has realized that Angus is not right already, but May is still kind of like, Aah. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. This is fun. Yeah, that's your beautiful mug, May. This isn't fun. This blows. Why are things weird? Why doesn't this feel good? Everything's stupid. I'm going to break something. Oh, are you actually breaking stuff? Oh, that's the, the toilet paper. Alright. Well, at least you're not like breaking something permanent. You're just wasting paper here. Which is still bad, but not nearly as bad. But like, yeah, see? This- Oh god, that was scratching on the mirror. This is how Mei deals with her problems. She's like taking it out on... Well, obviously it's not the best way, especially because you're inconveniencing an entire store. Someone has to clean this up when you go, you know? Yeah! Dude, stop! What the hell? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Okay, fine. That was a dumb question. Okay, why are you doing this? Do I need a reason? I don't think May even knows what's wrong. Yeah, I kind of think you do. Since when? What are you even doing in here? Getting you. I can find my way out myself. You've probably been here for like 30 minutes. Fine. 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 Kind of a weird question, but... Did you go before you decided to trash the bathroom? Or... God, Greg, I didn't even have to go. Okay, jeez. I do now! <laughs> we have a table for when you're done. Leave! Right, okay. Wait, why is Greg even in here? Isn't this the girl's bathroom? <laughs> is it unisex? What? When did I see a... 
Where do I see that? Oh, well, we got a... Was that in the bathroom? I didn't even see it. That's weird. Huh. If we went with B to Jackie's party, then we get the pentagram from the bombshell girl. But since we don't, we get it from the bathroom here? Okay. Everyone's getting frustrated with the whole situation. It's not a fun night. Hmm. But you know what? That's uh... If you spend a lot of time with the same people, eventually you're gonna get mad at each other. It's totally something that happens. Y yeah, why is May sitting in the middle? <laughs> so! How you guys doing? Anything new? Other than, you know, all this stuff that's been happening. Ghosts and stuff. Yup. That's pretty new. Hey, Angus. How'd you get B's car for tonight? She was going to a party out of town. But I guess she lost her nerve. What? What do you mean by lost her nerve? So she didn't go? Oh! Oh, no. Oh. And Greg and I were supposed to do something. This is something. Oh no! Oh! Was this supposed to be date night? But then... I came into Snack Falcon and I was like, Hey Greg, wanna hang? And Greg's like, yeah sure, let's hang! And then... When they got home... Angus is like, oh, why is May here? And Greg's like, yeah, well, you know, it's May! Let's hang with May! Even though it was supposed to be date night. But at the same time, I feel like Greg wouldn't do that though, because... Right after Harvest, we had that same situation, watching horror movies. That was supposed to be a date night, and Greg knew not to invite May, so... Let's just eat. Yes, please. Let's eat. Woohoo! Oh god. Oh, there's the pentagram, right? In the middle? If god even exists. These donuts. You're not religious, right, Angus? No. Have donuts ever made you think twice? No. I want that devilish looking one. It's not a pentagram though. So, how's our son working out? Ah! <laughs> He's in our living room. He sure is! Pretty great! Yup. Oh, eyeball. And you keep saying things like, our son. It's not that Angus really is jealous or anything, but when he's already upset... Oh, look at that. Sprinkles. Greg, you're awful quiet? Just eating. You've never had a problem talking and eating at the same time. sick already. It smells. Dude. Donut wolf? The robot thing. I thought you'd like it. I smell and you like me. Yeah, to both those things. Greg spent a lot of time and effort on that robot. Because he thought you'd love it. No, he did it because it was fun. No matter what could happen. Jeez. Yeah, Angus is really, really upset right now. Ugh, feeling woozy. Is May getting drunk from a donut? Jeez. We shouldn't be eating here anymore if it's gonna make us sick. Oh my god! It's like the whole berating bee 
Babe, you shouldn't run off. It's dangerous. We don't know where we are right now. That kind of thing again. Oh my god. This is so painful. Angus, you're being rude. I'm being rude? We're trying to get out of here. Both working our asses off. And you come waltzing back into town. And suddenly, Greg is breaking into grocery stores. Abandoned ones! And like stealing car batteries. Abandoned ones! And messing up our already crappy apartment. Hey, dude, come on. Wait, how is this my fault? Whatever, I'm eating. Oh my god, May. Oh, cripes. Oh, sweet cripes. I'm falling into the sky. See? If you get sick, then Angus has to be the one to drive you home. Ugh. It was all weird colored. Yeah, they mentioned it a few times, but the Donut Wolf is next to the highway now, right? That's really similar to another place in Kentucky Route Zero, too. Equus Oils, right by the highway. It was all weird colored. Puke usually isn't that color. It was like... multiple colors. You okay, May? Uh, I have a really weak stomach. Yeah, you puke a lot. I get pukey at like... Baby food. The inside of pumpkins, any beer, too much donuts. I never puke. My mouth tastes like broken dreams. I am really mad at you two. Why? I hate awkward silences. Am I like ruining your lives or something? Just tell me if I am instead of whatever this is. Well, I guess we should target our questions at Angus. Angus definitely doesn't hate you, though. Definitely. We know this for a fact, okay? It's just that sometimes this whole thing is so frustrating. Do you not like me anymore, Angus? What? No, May. I like you fine. Why are you being weird, then? Um, so... Angus, I'll take this. Thanks, Han. May, remember my uncle? Sheep farm out past Brittle, out by the interstate? Yeah, kinda. When I was like eight, my parents got sick of me. It made me spend like a month there in the summer. And I spent the whole time following him around. Sheep are cool. I had a stuffed sheep named Gordon. Sheep are real dumb is what they are. One afternoon, before dinner, my uncle left me by the pen. And for some reason, I opened the gate. What did they do? So a bunch of the sheep basically immediately bolted. And I chased after her, being all... You dumbass sheep! You tried, bug. They ran across the field. And into the woods. And there was this really steep hill that went down to the interstate. Oh, oh no. What happened? Four got splattered by a semi-truck. Some ran back up the hill. But three made it over the median. And across to the other side. And they just stopped. And I got to the bottom of the hill by the road which was like covered in sheep guts and parts. Ugh. And we just looked at each other across the interstate. Me waving my hands, two ran back, got hit by another truck. Did the truck stop? They totally didn't. That's probably illegal. 
But the other one... He ran down the hill on the other side. Into the woods. And no one ever saw him again. Jeez, dude. Oh, yeah. Hey, you're a tattoo. Yeah. Haha, -ha, I sleuthed the meaning. That's awful for you. Poor sheep. But if I was in their position, I'd have run too. And I want to be the one that got away. And I want Angus to come with me. I, like, failed those sheep. Just like, you know, everything has failed us. That's a bit... No one even denies it. No one tries to talk you out of leaving here. And yeah, being the only queer people in town sucks. I'm here? You already left once. But I'm... back. I can't stay. We can't stay. I guess. Mmm, at first I thought there might have been more of a jealousy slant to it, but it's more about how... May is... getting Greg back into his old habits again. Habits that will stop their plans from being fulfilled. And I love Angus. I love both of you. Obviously in different ways. Thanks for clarifying. We have a plan, and we're working our asses off to make it happen. Two guys, full-time, minimum wage. I have to grow up a bit. I did grow up a bit. May, you have to let me change. I wonder if May even understands what that means, though, because... I feel like her reaction would be like, What? It's not like I made you change! What are you talking about? We were just hanging out! Sorry I was rude earlier. It's okay. Remember the time we almost burned down the school? Ha, <laughs> yeah. Fireworks, student council, poster just whoosh! God, that was a good night. Soaked from the sprinklers. Running through the parking lot. Laughing our asses off. Ha! <laughs> oh my god, yeah. That was maybe the best night of my entire life. It's one of the all-time greats. Kids still talk about it. That night lives on, man. Well... We can at least be legends. Forever. Letting it die in the past. Well, tonight was a complete bust. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop apologizing, Angus. Okay, good, so May does understand. I'm sorry too. It's cool. And I have an idea. Oh yeah? You up for one more big crime? You can come this time, Angus. Do a crime with us. I... Okay. Oh, Captain... Captain Criminal! Let's go! Are we gonna burn that thing? Dump it in the ocean? Ugh. This thing is gonna really freak some kids out. Yeah, dude. They're gonna tell stories about this thing. They'll never know what it is or how it got here. You guys sure you're okay with it? Yeah. This is a good home for it. Oh, they're just leaving it here. Okay. Like symbolically leaving their childhood and craziness behind. Leave it for the kids. Let it be a legend. Hmm. Yeah. Too bad it didn't fall on you. Too bad you didn't get your arm caught in the gears. Too bad both of you didn't get trapped in the car. After a wreck. And explode all over the road. And have to be scraped up. With a snow shovel. Nice. Decent, Captain. <laughs> yeah, that's 
including everybody. All right, well, moving on. Yup. <laughs> Could you imagine if someone heard this conversation? Holy shit, those people are talking about killing people in the back there. Goodbye. You can leave it alone, but it'll never leave you alone. Let's be legends. Angus is good, Greg rules okay, and donuts. So similar to the bee hangout, there's some development of the, the relationships here between May and Greg. You grew up as childhood best friends, but you can't stay a child forever. Especially because Greg has a future he wants to work towards. Okay, well, this should be the last of the hangouts then. I'm gonna really quickly play till the end of the game so that we can see what the pentagram stuff was all about. Maybe it's not even gonna be anything big, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, uh, okay, there's my third pentagram, but I didn't... I just finished the mines area, so it must have been in there somewhere, but I don't actually remember seeing anything. Uh, oh, well, okay, sure. Oh, here they are. Hey, it's you guys. Sup? Hi. Hey. You guys still doing that talking in order thing? Nah. Kept messing it up. We're kind of over the whole thing anyway. Oh, really? Yup. Yeah, because we found your pentagrams. Because that pentagram thing was totally a thing. So, like, thanks. Huh, cool. And actually, everything you said was pretty spot on. Probably because we're actually psychic. Probably. Alright, well, I can't tell what level of sarcasm we're working on here. Oh god, I sound like a mom. Maybe no sarcasm. Maybe we're covering our tracks. So our cover isn't blown. Never change, weird teens. Please grow and become weird adults. Maybe we don't age. Maybe we stay young. Maybe we're forever. Thank you again. For what? I don't remember doing anything. Who is this lady? <laughs> They're just gonna not acknowledge me. But we did get the... We did get the pentagrams. Hmm. Just a little bit of dialogue here, not too much. I think when I um, initially accepted this so-called quest, they gave me a small premonition thing, kind of like how Germ's grandmother was like, Oh, you're gonna see this, you're gonna see that. So that's what they were talking about. Jeez, that door never gets any less stuck. Holy crap, is that a pentagram sticker? Yeah, it's a corpse driver sticker. Wonder what four pentagrams mean. Wonder what three pentagrams mean. <laughs> what? Nothing. Nobody here yet. Bunch of slackers. <laughs> we don't have to make an excuse to get Angus out of work today, huh? It's like they don't even want this band to succeed. Haha. <laughs> Where would we even play if we wanted to? Hmm. I have no idea. Uh... You could play at... In front of Ham Panther. <laughs> Go play those Legion Hall shows in Fort Lucerne. Oh wow, those were fun. We'd be the oldsters now. Oh, I know where you can play. Play at the bonfire at the teen parties. <laughs> you can be the sensitive band this time. Yup. So, uh... You okay? I guess. I mean, as much as I can even tell today. Yeah. Hmm, suspicious. Do you think those guys can get out of the mine? I guess we're gonna find out pretty quick. Did you notice anyone missing today? I don't know. But I don't think a lot of those guys were people I knew. Never can tell. 
That's true, because we do know some of their names. Eyed, Dave, and apparently we don't recognize them because we didn't react to them. Never can tell? This kind of thing happen to you often? Oh, all the time. So, like... I don't really get what even happened down there. With you. And the... whatever that was. The cosmic horror? Okay, yeah, that. Uh, it's old. Something older than anything I can think of. And you can feel it inside. And it's in a hole outside town? Yes. No. Like, the thing in the hole is... Chase, I lost it. It's okay. It's like... A porch light that's on. And there are all these bugs around it. And then the light goes out. And there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back. Like I was telling you about on the couch last night. Mm, so we had that same conversation that we had with B in the first playthrough, but with Greg this time. It was pretty much the exact same conversation. God, that was last night? Just like how this is pretty much the same conversation as with B too. <laughs> Seems like two weeks ago. Heh, <laughs> yeah. What a weird fall it's been. Yeah, I mean, even aside from last night. Weirdest couple of weeks of my life. Like, so, I was asking about that pentagram sticker? Yeah, so there were these weird teens who told me I was... Uh, never mind. It's really stupid saying it out loud. Okay. Like, I don't know, sometimes weird coincidences. It's like having the TV on in the room so you don't feel alone. Or something. One of the best things about living with Angus is that he's always there. Angus is your TV. And my space heater. So, those teens told me I'd seen a bunch of pentagrams. You'll like this. One was on a donut the other night. They got the evil in them. And another was down in the tunnel last night. I honestly don't know where we saw that. I mean, you know what Angus would say. Because as far as I could tell, I was paying attention when I played through the mind scene again, but nobody made any mention of pentagrams. So I don't know if I skipped all the dialogue too fast, or did they just never bring it up? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Pattern seeking. You know he used to make videos online? Really? Yeah, he like tell about atheism and also cook. Reason and cookies. Sounds like a great YouTube channel. Holy crap. I think I mellowed him out. Does he still make cookies? Yeah, and he still yells about atheism a lot too, but... in real life. Huh. <laughs> they killed Casey. Yeah, they did. They killed Casey. I'm trying not to think about it. Do we, like, tell his parents? What do we tell them? I don't know. Is it worse to let them think he's alive? Or tell them he's in a bottomless hole? In a tunnel? In the woods? With a bunch of guys who are gonna be dead soon? Yeah, we should tell them. We need justice for Casey, like justice for Barb. Okay. You get to figure out what we say. I'll let you know if I ever come up with anything. Sounds good. Ever? I think it's important that we know at least. Mix it... mean something? I don't know how to say it. I think we might be the only things in the universe who care about anything. Or who even can care. Do you think any of this means anything? Or like, meant anything? Hmm. Does it, Gregory? Hey, babies. Hey, hon. Babies? How was work? Jeez, I'm sore from, like, everything. I ran into, like, a zillion bushes the other night. Basically, my body hates me right now. Gotta do stretches. So, like, 
Can I move to Bright Harbor with you guys? What? Uh. 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 Um. I thought you, like, couldn't leave home? Eh, you guys are home enough. Uh, I thought we just had this conversation about letting people grow up and all that. Um... <laughs> or maybe I'll just visit for a while once you get settled in. Of course. Yeah, dude, that'd be rad. Hey, guys. Yeah? Thanks for saving me last night. Like... Repeatedly. Not even a problem, dude. We'll save you as many times as it takes. B is awfully late today. Hey, B. Hey, B. Are you gonna say something? I don't really know what to say. Because <laughs> this time we never really hung up with B. What in the hell even happened last night? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, good. So I was just having the worst, weirdest nightmare ever. By the way, nice messages to wake up to. Oh god, I was half asleep, let's not talk about it. I think I twisted my ankle last night. Can we just like not talk about last night for the rest of the day? Uh, no promises. Can't we just play a song? And get pizza? And talk about this tomorrow? Sure. Whatever. We can all talk about it in therapy for years. Oh, thanks, B. Thanks for the reminder. That's a spirit. I mean, we have to go on, right? Obviously, the world is seriously screwed up, but... We're all gonna die if we don't keep living. That's some bumper sticker shit right there. Hey, I know what I'm talking about. We gotta make plans. We gotta change things. We gotta play a goddamn song and get a goddamn pizza. Okay, so what are we playing? <laughs> and again, that is Night in the Woods. On a semi-related note here, I had no idea that Alec Holoka had a hand in creating Night in the Woods. He also had a hand in creating Aquaria, which is one of my favorite older indie games. But the crazy thing is that Aquaria and Night in the Woods have like nothing in common, so to play two games and to like both of them, and then to find out that they had a common developer is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, that's that. Night in the Woods. We got to see Greg's Hangouts this time, and I feel like I've seen the majority of what this game has to offer, and um, it's all good. Like you didn't know that already, right? Making it to the end of my second playthrough here. Yeah, I feel like I've mentioned it so many times already, but I really enjoy the dialogue writing in this game. It's really unlike any other game. The level of... What do you call it? Realism. And hilarity is really far beyond a lot of other games. The only thing that I can think of that remotely even has a similar style of writing is uh, Oxenfree. Which also had really good voice acting too, but in a way, because Night in the Woods doesn't have any voice acting, you can add in what you think, what you imagine, into the characters themselves. And that's really neat too. I think, at the end of the day, Night in the Woods and May Borowski in general really just show that everyone, everybody is going through their own shit. Like in the beginning, when you don't understand what May is going through, why is she being so rebellious and not contributing to the household and all of that stuff. It's easy to get frustrated with her because you don't know that she was suffering so much inside. That description of the whole... the killer incident when they were on the couch, when Mei was on the couch with B or Greg, it was like simultaneously the most vague description of anything ever. But at the same time, it was so understandable as well. That is such a feat in itself, I think. Because I think, as everyone knows already, mental issues are... They're probably really hard to explain to people who don't experience them. There are all these stereotypical reactions to stuff like depression that are like, Oh, why don't you just stop being sad? Just stop it. Because the person who doesn't experience it doesn't understand how it really is. So I feel like 
to be able to write something that can bridge that gap of understanding is really, really good. And maybe it'll help everyone understand everything a little better. Just like how in the beginning, B was thinking that Mei was just being lazy and not taking advantage of her opportunities and whatnot. But once you explain it to her, she does understand everything a little better and has more tolerance and understanding for why Mei acts the way she does. I don't know. I feel like at the end of the day, aren't we all a little bit ill in some way? So maybe it's in our best interests to have a little bit more tolerance and try to understand what everyone else is going through. Alright, I'm sure you could tell already, but I am incredibly nasally today, so I am gonna leave it off here. Thank you very much for joining me with Night in the Woods, and I really hope you enjoyed it. This was really... this was something else. Yeah. I also want to make a special thank you to Clive, a viewer, who sent me this game months and months ago. But hey, at least we waited for the Weird Autumn Edition for the new stuff to come out. So yes, thank you again for the gift, and I hope you all enjoyed Night in the Woods, and I will see you all in another place, in another time. Bye!